Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're just stopping by. My name is Lexi and I am super excited to share with you my project for this week. This is my project for the Christmas in July collab. Um, this is week three of the collab. It is hosted by Don H Creates here on YouTube. Definitely, if you have not yet um, checked out any videos from this collab, check out the description box below to find Dawn's channel, as well as all the ladies participating in this collab. There have been so many great videos and lots of really, really fun projects, um, lots of great ideas for Christmas, which we all know will be here before we know it. Um... So this week, our theme for the week was a non-traditional or a pink Christmas. So I um, looked in my crafting supply and I actually did not have like any pink Christmas um, paper. I know it was super popular last winter, but I did not um, jump on any of the paper pads that were out there. So for my project this week, um, I did a little bit more winter themed versus Christmas. So let me share with you um, real quick the couple of things that I used for this project. I'll show you my project. Um, this is a super quick and easy project. Um, and then I also have a small giveaway that I wanted to do and I thought this week would be a perfect week to go ahead and share that with you. So what I used for this project was this beautiful paper pad from Authentique. I just love like everything from Authentique, I feel like. Um, it has a bunch of these really cute like vintage images of these kids. Um, yeah, here are some of them. So I for sure wanted to use um, some of these like images that they have. And I just love the purples and the pale blues and grays. I think it's just a really, really pretty pad. I picked that up from Tuesday morning um, this past winter. I also use this stamp set from Close to My Heart. Um, it's just the uh, Feathery Flakes is what it's called. Um, and this stamp set I picked up from a scrap and stamp garage sale this spring. I'm sure this is probably an older set. I don't know when exactly it's from, but I love the um, snowflakes. It also has all these really pretty words, which I did not use for this project, but I just think they're super, super cute. <laughs> I also used these sequins that I just recently picked up from Joanne from Miss Sparkle and Company. And they have this really pretty like pale pink and fuchsia and turquoise and silver. So I thought those went really nice as well. So my project for this week was this policy envelope. I was super inspired by Kat at Cat Paper Love here on YouTube and on Instagram. Um, recently, maybe like a month ago, a couple weeks ago, she shared a video um, making a policy envelope and I just thought it turned out really, really cute. Hers was like really fun, like summer, tropical themed. Um, and this is kind of the opposite of that, but I just thought it was a really great idea. And I thought this would be a perfect idea to be able to share um, the small giveaway that I wanted to as well. So all you need for this is just one sheet of 12 by 12 paper. Um, and I will go ahead and leave a link in the description box below to her tutorial if you're interested in kind of seeing the process of making that. Um, but it is definitely very straightforward, very simple. You don't need any like fancy tools or anything like that. And really the possibilities are endless as far as how you want to embellish it. So I um, made mine into a shaker. I just have some um, really like a, like a pale blue tool that I sewed onto um, this part of the envelope and then I put that really fun shaker mix in there um, and then down here I use one of those cut aparts from the paper pad I added some little stickles to give it some sparkle um, here's where I used that stamp set I stamped out a couple of the snowflakes and then added some stickles to give them some sparkle just a couple little gem pieces and then this really pretty piece of like lilac ribbon that I thought matched perfectly with this paper pad um, and then some of these little like pearl I don't know what you call these florally pieces <laughs> they remind me of like the little um, picks that you see in like boutonnieres and bouquets and that kind of thing so yeah I just thought those were really pretty and then on the back side I just, on the back side, I just used a couple more of these snowflake images um, with the pretty stickles on there to give them some sparkle. This paper is definitely a busy paper, so I didn't want to do too much on the back, but just a little something. And then to close the envelope, 
I just used a little Velcro piece and I found these little round pieces at the Dollar Tree and I just think they're so great. They already have the sticky on them and so that worked out really great. So yeah, I thought that turned out really, really cute and I think this would be so fun to share like some friend mail in or um, if you have like a really flat gift, <laughs> you could put it in there. Um, but I just thought it was really cute. So let me go ahead and just share with you what is in the small giveaway here. Like I said, it definitely has to be flat. So in this giveaway, I just have this little Christmas stamp set. It has these really cute little sentiments on there, a couple little trees. Thought that was really cute. Um, this is just a sheet of the little candy cane stickers. And then this really cute little cup. And it's actually a gift card holder. It has a little spot to do that on the back, or you could use it as an ornament. I just thought it was so cute with a little um, ribbon and trees on there. So if you would like to win this little giveaway, um, just leave a comment in the description box below that you would like to be entered. Um, this giveaway is open um, to the US as well as international. So anyone can enter if you would like. Um, you just need to be 18 or older so that you can give me your address so I can mail it to you. Um, and I would love if you um, are a subscriber. Um, if you would like to enter, definitely, like I said, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Um, so this giveaway will be open until I film my next video, which will be next week, week four. And the last week of this collab, um, I will go ahead and just draw a winner um, when I film that video. So thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you in the next video. Bye.